So we're here again in my studio. Uh, this is part two or episode two of repairs to my drone. Once again, the drone is a DJI Inspire 2. And this time I've got a problem with the one of the motors. So pre-flight, what you're supposed to do and what you should always do is check the motors. So that's a question of grabbing hold of the diagonally opposite motors just rotating them with your hands just to feel the resistance and what you're looking for is to make sure that both of the motors are rotating the same and have the same amount of resistance so once you've done two move to the other two diagonally opposite motors rotate those and check those as well in my case I've got three motors that are perfectly fine that rotate nicely that have, are nice and smooth there's no difference in resistance but I've got one motor that's ever so slightly notchy so what that means is when you rotate it in comparison to the other one, one smooth, one is, is just a little bit notchy. It feels like the magnets are grabbing a little bit. Now that could be, um, it could be dust in the motor, it could be a little bit of grit in the motor. Um, it could also be the bearings that are getting worn as well. Now I could try blowing uh, compressed air through the, through the motor, see if there's anything that would clear. But do you know what? This is such a critical component when you've got a, a, a four kilo drone in the air the last thing you want to do is to have one of the motors seize up and that drone that bird fall out of the air that drone fall out of the air um, so i'd rather be safe and uh, replace the motor the motors aren't cheap they're about 90 uk pounds um, so not cheap but not too expensive either i wouldn't want to be replacing them too frequently but for the purposes of this um, we've got an original dji um, motor comes with bolts and what I've also bought in preparation for this is a few tools so um, I've got a set of uh, flat nose pliers a very small set of flat nose, flat nose pliers because from what I've seen from the drawings of the motor disassembly um, there's a little connector to pull out I don't want to tug on the wires so I thought it best to get a little flat nose uh, plier just to pull the, uh, pull the connector apart the other thing I've got is my trusty set of Allen screwdrivers um, plus a watchmaker's uh, screwdriver set. So um, again, if you go back to my previous video that was looking at disassembly of the leg, you effectively have to take the leg off first before you actually get to the components that you need to remove to replace the motor. So watch that tutorial first, that'll get you halfway there. And then if you want to replace the motor, then this tutorial will, will take you to the motor replacement. I've also bought some threadlock compounds, some blue medium threadlock compounds. Um, most of the stuff I get is off Amazon next day delivery, fantastic. So I've got that lined up ready to go and I'm going to put some threadlock on the bolts for the motor. Reason being, it's an absolutely critical part. What I don't want to do is for the bolts to wear loose um, and maybe cause some vibration, cause an issue and it once again have the, have the drone fall out of the sky just can't afford to take that risk so I'd rather be safe now so having already disassembled the uh, landing legs all that remains is to remove the ESC panel so the electronic stability control panel which is underneath the plastic that you can see on screen so there's two screws uh, that need to be removed two of the screws have already been removed as part of the landing leg disassembly once those screws have been removed then uh, it's just a question of lifting up uh, the ESC panel that's quite straightforward it comes out really easily and that reveals the motor and the motor connecting uh, cable so using some um, preferably flat nose pliers um, it's just a question of inserting them into the into the space and pulling off the uh, connector a little bit of a wiggle uh, gets it off no problem at all so then you can start to remove the four bolts that are inside uh, there's four allen or hex bolts inside the, uh, the the back of the motor and they're quite easy to remove so just take them one by one and remove the allen bolts so take the motor out of the packet uh, examine it make sure it's the right uh, type of motor and the same codes then it's just a question of offering it up to the uh, to the drone arm once it's offered up uh, you can start putting the bolts in You'll notice that the drone has been lifted up slightly just to um, ensure the space for the motor to be fitted. Um, I've propped up the one side of the arm uh, just temporarily while I put the motor in place. 
so I recommend adding thread lock to each of the bolts um, this is you know these bolts are quite critical what you don't want to have have happen is these bolts vibrate during flight and, and come loose um, so it's really important to uh, make sure there's some good adhesion there so just continue to tighten the uh, the screws I'd recommend that uh, instead of going around in a in a sort of circular motion tighten the bolts diagonally opposite first um, and then just gradually tighten them down until they're, they're all completely tight and flush obviously don't over tighten um, that's really dangerous that that could strip the threads on the motor and then the motor is ruined so then it's a straightforward reassembly the plug that fits onto the motor can be put on by hand so if you level that up uh, with two fingers and just wiggle it from side to side and just push it on just push on relatively easily and then it's just a question of um, of placing the ESC uh, panel back into position once that's back into position then it's just a question of putting the, the two bolts in that you removed earlier so that's it motor fixed into position all tight uh, it's just a question now of following the tutorial for the landing leg replacement and reattaching the landing legs so by no means complicated uh, I would suggest anybody with a few basic tools can can do this nothing to worry about and pleasingly uh, I've just been out and test flown the drone um, just in a, in a local park and everything is uh, is working perfectly no issues whatsoever so thank you for watching